Hey folks, everything new under the sun. This is a Cardo Pack Talk Slim. This is, uh, well, I guess it's been in a couple of years. Um, and I got it off eBay. It uh, It's broken. Uh, the wires were pulled from uh, the, the side piece, the button array there. And of course, this Slim is kind of a two-piece headset, Bluetooth headset. So these are the buttons that sit inside your helmet. And uh, this is the, the, the battery pack. Oops. This is the battery pack unit, and I think I, just, I believe all the brands of the unit are in here. Um, so to replace a battery, uh, there's four screws on it. You can see the screws. The back pops off. There's a little gasket there. <clears throat> you do have to do some soldering uh, if you want to get the battery out. Uh, but it doesn't look terrible to at least do uh, some basic soldering to get the battery. And you can get, a, 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 I don't know what it is, a, a 1S or 2S or something, uh, a lithium iron polymer a lipo battery. I think you can get them off eBay to, if you need to replace the battery in there, which is kind of the one of the common things um, that you need to do on this. But I want to do, and this is not going to quite be a, a teardown, but I want to uh, share this because I, I didn't see any videos of it on uh, YouTube, and I was interested to see what was in here uh, because uh, you know to see if I could to fix this thing. So often, and let's see, I'm going to put a, a little. 3.5 millimeter jack beside it so you can kind of see the size uh, of that uh, let's see let me just zoom in a little bit uh, it's not not super clear but anyways you can kind of gauge the size of it there uh, for 3.5 millimeter jack now normally uh, this USB connector here this guy is the one that breaks off on a lot of these just from use uh, inserting and uh, taking out the, the charge cable and this guy pop this guy uh, uh, breaks off the solders uh, break and unfortunately I can't get too much too big of a too much of a close up there but again to solder this is really really tough um, yeah it, it's really really tough although I don't think a lot of I don't know if there's any data that it goes through there so if you get five volts uh, soldered in there somehow you may be able to, to repower it without having to send it back to to Cardo or if you get it second hand you probably can't send it back to Cardo now in this one the whole uh, side there's a, a plastic piece that came up here which uh, attached it to the helmet and this connector this 12 pin connector uh, popped off right there that's where it used to go and there used to be a female uh, connector part there I don't know if this is a JST connector I couldn't find any documentation or schematics on it um, very hard to find. Even videos uh, showing, uh, you know, a teardown of this or anybody breaking into this. Uh, you, I can't find it. If you can find it, let me know. I even asked Cardo uh, if they were sending me a schematic. Of course, I haven't heard back. So, what you'll see on this... hope that's in focus there. Uh, what you'll see on this uh, is... There is an antenna wire, which is here. Which, boy, you can't really see on the video there. I don't know if I can blow that up in post-processing, but uh, there's an antenna wire there, uh, which goes up into here underneath underneath the rubber pad. And so there's a big flat metal uh, antenna here, array effectively underneath this rubber pad uh, that is underneath or, or around the, the various uh, uh, buttons that are in there. So that's what that goes to. Uh, it, it's a, basically a, a micro tiny coax cable with a one central cable and, and then a ground wire um, that goes back there. And then this here, this is a 12 pin, 12 wire, at least as I counted, uh, connection uh, that simply uh, goes straight to uh, the, main, the main battery unit there uh, for all the communications. Now if I counted right, if each of these buttons uh, uh, sound volume up plus minus, um, you know, play, whatever. Uh, if, if all these require two wires, and it would make sense that there's uh, 12 wires there, um, that is a, a two for uh, power uh, and two for each button, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm not an electronics whiz. But the again, the issue here is uh, trying to solder this 12-pin connector on there or even cutting the wires and trying to solder them on there. And again, it's hard to see, um, but those are really, 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 really tiny. Um, this is a little, a little Torx screwdriver that I have. Anyways, uh, it, they're really, really uh, tiny uh, pads there. So you almost need a hot air uh, solder gun um, to kind of melt those. And then the problem is you can't find a proper, um, proper female uh, receptor receiver for for this 12-pin uh, connector. 
Uh, I really hope that's in focus. It doesn't look like it's in focus very well. So anyways, uh, that's what it amounts to. And it's, it is hard. You can put, peel the rubber back and get at the uh, buttons. Um, but it's, it looks a little bit harder to kind of get this ribbon cable off and to peel it all apart in order to get the board out there if you were going to do some uh, soldering on it. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess the main message is that uh, all these solder pads are uh, very, very tiny. Um, again, here's a look at a 3.5 millimeter jack uh, in relation to this. And, uh, and you want to get a solder, solder, solder iron in there and uh, solder those pads. Well, it's uh, uh, nearly impossible. I, mean, I guess you can do it. I guess there's ways. Uh, but it's hard uh, for sure. I think the be better way, and uh, not that you can find many on eBay, but the better way may be just to uh, uh, cut this guy right off and replace this whole end of it if you can find a used one. If, for example, someone has uh, thrown away the whole unit because maybe the battery was dead and they gave up on it and bought a new one, uh, then you could very well just uh, you know cut that in the center and uh, solder those wires together. It's not so bad when you're working in between here to solder those wires, but you try and get it on that board there. And those solder pads, so that's going to be another situation. Uh, what else to say? So yeah, the antenna does go all the way from here, from the base unit up here, and then there's a the big antenna array, uh, which again is very tiny, and you'll need to uh, deal with that in some fashion. Uh, so anyways, good luck, uh, and you know, hopefully they move to a USB-C connector, which is maybe a little bit stronger on these. On this particular unit, the USB uh, is fine, seems to be sturdy. Um, I just uh, I just can't get a connector for this guy, and I looked all over uh, AliExpress and eBay, and it's hard to know exactly what it is. And you can buy you can buy them, you know, ten ten dollars plus five dollars shipping or whatever the shipping cost is, but not knowing exactly what that is uh, is kind of the issue. I'd have to buy a bunch of them. Hopefully they're the right size. I did measure it, and I didn't find any as small as this. I don't know if it's a Pico connector or some JST micro. Uh, connector. Let me just get rid of this light. I don't know if that light light is overpowering it. Um, yeah, there you go. I don't think it's overpowering it. That's kind of the best focus I can do. So, anyways, uh, th there's some comments for you if you're trying to repair this thing. Um, uh, again, uh, this main unit uh, battery, and I think that the brains of it are in here. And that's why I say you can probably cut this end off. Um, I don't think there's a lot of, you know, I don't, I don't, I didn't look at the other side, but I don't think there's anything for real chips or uh, any logic going on on this board. It's, I think it's just passing everything, especially considering all the wires they put on here. I think it's just passing everything straight through uh, to, to this main uh, back unit there with the, that does have the logic and the chips in it there. So uh, if you want to take it apart, there you go. So hopefully, hopefully that helps the next guy. Um, Again, because I, I couldn't find anything uh, for this uh, particular unit. Um, and of course, it's uh, being that it's so tiny, it's uh, very hard to uh, to fix. So you have to be pretty good. You have to have a microscope uh, to do any soldering, likely uh, to do any a decent soldering on this sort of thing. So I'll leave there, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you in the next video.